Okay, and welcome back to uh, another video here with the West Bend Regional Soccer Association. I'm Technical Director Jesse, uh, and today I have Declan with me. Hey, Declan. Hey, Jesse. How's it going today? How's uh, doing all your schoolwork from home? Uh, it's annoying, but it all gets through. It's not too bad. Is it is it the schoolwork that's annoying, or is it is it the sisters? A bit of both. <laughs> okay. Um, so Declan, why don't you tell us, uh, obviously you, you've played Brandon Youth Soccer in Brandon, you've played, you play a lot of hockey in Brandon, uh, you, you've more recently played with the Westman FC team for a few years, and this year you were part of the first uh, WRSA morning program, um, but aside from sports, why don't, why don't you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Well, my name is Declan Ode, I play multiple sports, uh, I'm 13, turning 14 in July. Uh, not the biggest person you'll meet. Uh, I go to, I'm in grade eight. I go to Bayview Lake Park School. I live in Brandon, Manitoba. And yeah. Awesome. So Declan, how many, um, how many sports do you play? Well, I play a wide variety. Like I play school sports that are offered like bas basketball, volleyball, badminton, play track and field sometimes. But the main two sports I focus on are hockey and soccer. Okay, awesome. And, you know, so most of those sports you kind of started in, in grade seven. So um, last year, is that correct? Uh, yeah, it is. And when did you start uh, kind of playing soccer and hockey? Well, I started playing them both at the same time. So I started when I was about five or six, so about that time. Okay, and are, are those kind of ones your favorite, and, and why are those two kind of your favorite? Well, those two are my, like, favorite. I like them both uh, because uh, they're team sports, and you get new friends when you play, when you play sports. You also you get to have a lot of fun experiences, like road trips, new people, just all around fun whenever you play sports. Awesome. Awesome. So you kind of talked to it a little bit there, but what what are kind of your favorite things about playing those two sports? Well, you know yet I mean? again, uh, yet again, I like uh, the team sports. I like having teammates. I like uh, hockey a lot because whenever I score, I enjoy it. I like skating on the ice. I like winning games. And for soccer, since I'm a defense, I like when I stop the other team from getting a good goal or rushing on us, also like when our games uh, in soccer as well. Okay, and playing those two sports, which you know, kind of one's really busy in the winter, one's really busy spring and summer. Um, so it kind of works out with your schedule. But do you feel that you maybe fall behind in one sport because you're not playing it year round, or um, what do you think of that? Well, I think I put in enough effort into both sports as much as I can that I'm staying at a good pace so I will fall behind. And if I do, it won't be too bad because I can probably catch up if I keep working hard like I have been trying. Awesome. So you, you said that you play defense and more so defense in soccer and, and forward and like to score goals in hockey. Do you think um, – how did that kind of happen? And do you think that – you know, playing defense in one kind of helps you know what to do when you're attacking in the other and vice versa. Yeah, it really does help because for soccer, playing defense, it helps uh, bring stru structure to your game and make sure you have good form. And for hockey, for being offense, it helps you realize the opportunities that are at hand that you could take. Cool. So it, it, you feel it kind of translates across and – you know, when you're defending in, in soccer, you obviously the structure you've talked about, but it also, you know, maybe helps you understand when opportunities are coming for the other team or, or players or things like that. Yeah. And and how do you feel that the, you know, playing the other sports as well that you mentioned, all those school sports, how do you feel that, that playing different sports helps you prepare when, you know, hockey season's coming up? and you're playing so many sports or when soccer season's coming up, uh, how, how does playing all those sports kind of help you prepare? Well, you stay active, so you're always fit when you keep doing more sports. You're not 
being lazy or always having something to do in your in your free time. So you're not just sitting around and waiting for something. You're making the best of the opportunities that you have at hand to make sure you're staying fit and just enjoying yourself. And it helps for cardio and teamwork because I play team sports all the time. Awesome. Awesome. So what would you tell other players, Declan, that are, you know, maybe interested in playing and you play um, both hockey and soccer at pretty high levels and in Winnipeg leagues with, with teams based out of Westman or Brandon here, what would you tell other kids who are maybe a few years younger than you that are wanting to play two sports at higher levels, but are maybe scared that if they, if they do that, they'll fall behind in one of them. Um, what would you kind of tell those kids? Well, make sure you're committed to doing two sports at once. Make sure you're prepared for the sacrifices you might make in your free time to make sure you're ready to do more than one sport. And, and, and make sure you enjoy those sports, that you're not just like doing one just because you want to do something else and doing the other one because you like it a lot. Make sure you like both of them uh, enough that you would keep doing them for as long as you can. Awesome. And what you, so you said uh, some really good points there. You mentioned some sacrifices in your free time. You might have to make some sacrifices in your free time. What do you kind of mean by that? And what are some sacrifices that you've kind of made to ensure you're, you know, putting in the work for you personally, but also to contribute to your team? Well, you got to make sure that you got to manage your time better. If you have homework, you got to make sure you get that done before you can do anything else. And then, after that, sports will probably come next. And then once you have, you might get a few hours of free time every day, like not too much because school. And then on the weekends, you also have to give up time of just laying around to do games that you might have going on and make sure you're always just like giving up all your TV time and all your free time. Awesome. Awesome. That's awesome, Declan. Do you have anything else to add or, or maybe any something I didn't ask that you feel is really important uh, to add before, before, we, before we end here? Oh, yeah, I do have one. It's uh, you got to make sure that you keep practicing in the off season so you don't uh, make sure you don't fall behind. Make sure you keep active in both sports. So for me personally, whenever I do soccer, like in the summer, I'll make sure I go in the garage and shoot pucks on my net every day or two. And then in the winter, I have this, uh, in my garage, I'll set up a mini net where I will shoot on it and try to pick corners and get better at my aiming and dribbling and everything so I get better at both sports. Awesome. So that's a very good point as well. So I'm still kind of managing your schedule, but also putting in extra work in the off season so you can continue to to, you know, get ahead as well and improve. That's a very good point. Um, do you have anything else you want to add or, or share, Declan? I don't know if I actually do. Um, I'll think about it, though. Sounds good. Well, Declan, thank you for, for joining me and, and sharing that. I think it's very important that um, obviously myself – played a lot of multi-sport as well and, and focused on the two that you did. But I think it's an important message for for not only the, the players, but also the parents in the region that, um, you know, it, it is doable and um, it's enjoyable when, when you do want to do them. And I know knowing you, I think you'd, you you wouldn't want to miss one of the sports. You really enjoy doing both. And so I think it's awesome that you're, you know, you're able to participate in both. Yeah, thanks for having me as well. No problem. Thank you, Declan. Thank you, Jesse.